Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> We're playing Crimes and Punishment, the second case, the case of the missing train. I love that about Sherlock um, stories, how, like, seemingly impossible scenarios happen. Yeah. That Magic. makes for the best. All the best cases always happen to Sherlock. Did you look at your book? No. No need? It is nice that they let you do that. Yeah. Okay, here we are in Chesterfield. Mm. And the reason we're here is because we want to know why the conductor here, or the station master here, sent a telegram, a report on the train that was unintelligible. I predict it's a code. Yeah, I thought it was code, but I find it odd that they haven't let us look at it yet. Yeah. And yeah, I'll give you credit if you want. Thank you. A fishing advertisement. Worst ad ever. <laughs> <laughs> Best fishing at our lake. <laughs> I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Your sexy, sexy mind, Holmes. Here we go. I had thought that all station masters knew oh. the Morse code, but apparently not. Is it possible that it was messed up because he fucked up the Morse code? Like it was a telegraph shifted somehow, and he made a mistake. Mm, maybe. He's dead. Oh. oh. Shit, dude. Seriously, what's wrong? <laughs> He's just ugly. He looks like he's dying, though. How could he fall asleep at work like this? Oh. Excuse me, sir. Wake up. Ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean? Right. Wake up, please. Huh. What? The 18 hours 72 train has arrived? Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train. And we should like to ask you a few questions. Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No. Nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Now you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. He did it. I want to show that other kid can uh, train station master his future. <laughs> Red nose, clean clothes, married. That explains the drinking. Am I right? <gasps> Best fishing. Oh no, that fishing's too good for me. I go to the crappy pond. Where's the next thing? Oh. Oh. The station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. You can't clearly remember it. Yeah. You smell like you drank half a distillery. You were not tired, you were inebriated. Tell me the truth now or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. 
He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. Ah, oh, will I ever get any peace? Let's make some connections here. Alright, so you start by choosing one, right? And then you choose another. Mm -hmm. um, untrustworthy plus the telegram. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Bam. Uh, the train passed through Chesterfield Station despite our being unsure, and, uh, unsure if the station master sent the report or the train never passed through Chesterfield Station. The station master was drunk and his testimony seems unreliable. He could have sent the report without witnessing the train at all. So we have no verification whether it passed here or not. Yeah. So regardless of whether the telegram was made I'm sense or not. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. But I still think there's something suspicious I had about it. That I ha Can we talk to him again now that try. we've come to that conclusion? It like. Ah, uh, will I ever oh. get any peace? <laughs> Easy, Watson. <laughs> I'm here! I'm here! Alright, so what was the station before this one? Because we'll have to figure out if the train went to the station before, right? Uh-huh. Well, we know it was at the station before. We just don't know what state it was in when it went through here. Look through that room without R1. <laughs> Ta-da! I used the front door. Um. Locked. There oh. is no sense in asking the station master to open it. We shall have to pick the lock. What's our motivation for picking the lock? Mm, maybe we we'll want to see if there's any luggage or... Oh, maybe mail? Say? Because the other place to is To prove all whether mailbags. it came here? Yeah. This wasn't as easy as it seemed. Yeah. There's no way to turn the whole thing to see what's underneath. No. Well. Holy fuck. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can. I'll choose to rotate off. Time you get it wrong, I kick a puppy. Can you, you what? Hear it? I kick a puppy. Can you hear it yelp in the background? I see what you're saying. Okay. You think you're caught, you're role playing Watson so well <laughs> that <laughs> you're just the embodiment of Watson. Yeah, totally. Okay. That's what's going on. These uh, tools were used quite recently. They buried They're the train. Muddy. We should ask about them. Ta-da! Railway post bags. The conductor at the other train yard has earth on his sleeve. It's true. Bags. 
dogs were recently dragged here. French wine, a remarkable vintage. These bottles are too expensive for a station master's wage. They were likely taken from the parcels. Shameful. It's kind of dickish that we're basing his theft purely on his wage. Yeah. We have no other proof. We're just like, we found wine bottles and you don't make much, so you must have stolen them. For all we know, he just has an addiction to very fine wines. Maybe. That's why he's so destitute. A handcar wheelbase. Interesting. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> Cross and tones. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear. Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? Because you're an idiot, Watson. A little Watson. patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Well, yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. It's because you have a tiny brain. You're an idiot, Watson. How did the train disappear? Watson, do you believe in magic? In a young girl's heart? Uh, magic and freedom. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> Prototype has many customers, no traces of the train, spare parts of a hand car. Yeah, what's that all about? Dismantled hand car of spare parts scattered around. It was found at Chesterfield Station. No traces of train. Prototype as many customers, special wagon. I think that they used the hand cart and a bright light to simulate the train. Mm -hmm. Reconstruct the hand cart to see if you can imitate a vanished train. The dismantled hair car seems directly connected to our mystery art. Right, so. Oh, this is an experiment like that time where we tried to skewer the pig. Ah. I should use the appropriate object here. <laughs> that light. He also says that while brushing his teeth in the morning. <laughs> I should use the appropriate object here. <laughs> and now I am. Wow. <laughs> And he just says that to himself. Uh, I should use the appropriate object oh. here. Oh, that's not the appropriate object. That, but goes, that down goes down here. here. And this one goes here, like in Bugs Bunny cartoons. Where's the light? I should use the. How do I put it on the other? I should use. I want to put it on the other side, but it won't let me. Can't get to the other side to put the other wheel over there. Rotate. R. Oh, there we go. I should use. Brake joint. I should use. Small gear. Small gear. It goes in the small gear housing. <laughs> I guess. Is there any other objects? Take the brakes, put them in the brake joint. Yeah. Any other objects? I think that's it. I should you. <gasps> oh. Ah. Yes. 
now our footsies won't fall through. So, now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. That's I not haven't a finished train. yet. What's Try not using a train. your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. You are a waste of skin, Watson. But how does a train disappear? <laughs> we need to attach a headlight and a steam whistle. Whistle. Oh, I had oh. a teacher that said, why? So because it was foggy last night, they just used this thing to to um, simulate the train at probably multiple stations even. Mm. Fire extinguisher, what? Can that simulate a, a train whistle by blowing it through because of the pressure? Was it not foggy at all and it was just a fire extinguisher burst? I doubt that, but, um, I think it was foggy, Fine. regardless of the extinguisher. There we go. All right, so. I need something. Uh, how do I... How do I... M this Robinson fellow seems... Right, Watson. You fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. What was that? Bottom left? Still working on this. So how do I put together those parts that I just picked up? Gotta be something else in here. Or in the other room? Look through it with the R1. No, this is. I gotta We're get missing in. A piece. How do you know? I got an extinguisher, a light. Oh, I need a battery. Need something to attach, wasn't it? I feel like no, it's a evidence needed. I need like another piece. There it is, a pole. Yeah, to attach the right, light. There's gotta be something else though. Gotta power the light somehow. I think we'll get to that step. Cause you know how this game is pretty precise. God damn it. All right. The long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. The headlight is attached. Oh, the battery just happened to come along <laughs> with it. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. Holmes is a real dickhead. <laughs> He's an asshole. The I fire wasn't gonna extinguisher. Say it. Now let us but see what we have here. Watson's pretty fucking dense. The steam whistle is ready to be used. Watch this, Watson. I'm going to use the steam whistle. Choo choo. He done built the train. Choo choo, Watson. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all. 
except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. Don't be testy, Watson. Fake train. And then, who faked it though? Train never reached Evesham. It disappeared earlier and was faked by somebody using a hand car and spare train parts from Chesterfield Station. All right. So now we know it disappeared long before we ever saw it. Yeah. Should I go talk to that station master again? Maybe. See if he has anything new. What the? Oh. You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water Who were the workers? Too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink, <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. So these men performed fellatio on you. Ah, oh, will I, I ever get any peace? A fake train. Ha! What a clever and devilish trick. Wow, I just put it together. Watson is Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah. Boy, what a devilish trick! <laughs> Holy shit, I do a good uh, fucking Burt Ward impression. That was pretty good. Um, so I think that's probably all the information I can get here. It's probably time to go somewhere else, I think. Let me check my, uh, <laughs> holy deer stalker, Holmes. <laughs> um, a common map of the rail, okay, wait, 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 where's my, Solve the mystery. Oh, thanks. Uh, okay. So we reconstructed it. Well, now that I know. The archive. Oh, go, go to, to the, the archive. archive. I Thank forgot. That, that's what we were going to do. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Ooh, like a puzzle? Oh. Oh. Whoa. There. There. There it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. Okay. Uh, I want to see it. How do I look at it? Oh. Here we go. So, okay. the railway switch seems to be the obvious choice now. Yep. Wasn't there a thing... 
in the last case where if you didn't go to the other pla oh that no that's the wolf among us like if you ch you have to choose like what order One or and okay. if you didn't go to the places in the right order you like miss out on scenes but you get other scenes I don't think that happens here I don't think it matters if I go to the station or the railway switch first okay so Chesterfield is where we are right now right and Eve how do you say that Evisham? Yeah. Is where we are trying to catch the train. And this and is the where they forced came. everybody off, is up at Bird, Bridlington. So it makes okay. sense that probably they got everybody off they wanted to get off, then switched it at the railway switch. So the train's up there somewhere, in near the quarry. No, the quarry's down here. Why do we think it's near a quarry? Well, that's interesting. Well, I wonder how the quarry enters into it. Because if you look down there, it switches off again. There's a second switch off. Uh -huh. And the quarry, you could just make a train disappear by running it off the edge into the quarry. But that wouldn't make sense because... We don't know if it went through Chesterfield or not. Yeah, no. It could have. So it could have been switched yeah. up here. It could have been switched right here and gone to the quarry. There's two possible locations for it. Because of the drunk, we have no idea. But would they have... Somebody got him drunk on purpose. And what did he say? What were the people got him drunk? To use the tools? Yeah, they wanted to borrow the tools. And they gave him booze. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the switch I think I'm most interested in. Alright, so we're going to take a break. We'll be back after this with more... The disc game. This one. Stay tuned. 